Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is, don't worry, I tend to jam pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast. So while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself and I get into a lot of details about the subject that, you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. Stoker movie thoughts. Now the the way the movie kind of uses sexuality and you might say I guess murderous tendencies as something violent tendencies you know very much conflated and sort of you know there's there's some nature versus nurture going on was this genetic or was this you know did kind of did did Richard really you know did did he manage to keep his under his urges under control and is the you know and if so how was it you know realizing that that's what happens you know this this has been compared to Dexter and Hamlet and yeah that that that's quite accurate and the the you know is Charlie you know there, that's where you may begin to sort of the nurture he kills once he gets out and it's sort of, you know, basically, I suppose you could say the movie basically tells us that he kills because he, you know, because Richard is trying to send him away. And, and Richard very much thinks that, yeah, that it's a... That, that it's it's certain that Charlie will kill or that he will be dangerous to to have them around and uh, you know the the if I start talking about dual meanings I'll, you know we'll be here all day but I did quite like the the thing of uh, you know what kind of family's family you can't you know, go home to, you can't take home, you know, yeah. And the, I also thought it, the, the, the interplay between India and Charlie with a sort of, he, he comes in to awaken her sexuality and her bloodlust and there is some, you know, when when India sees Charlie with Evie, there's there's both, you know, or, or it can be debated whether it's jealousy of Evie or it's sort of, you know, she feels that her mother should not move on so quickly and... Yeah, and, and when Evie sees the two of them together, you know, is she angry that she lost Charlie to a younger woman, her own daughter, in fact, or is she furious that he would... I mean, that's where the, the incest comes into it. And, um, yeah, that was a very, very well done. I, I liked all the different little things they did to kind of say that maybe maybe she wants him to awaken that in her and maybe she the the, the ice cream is a, is a good and the way they you know the yeah the 
The thing about how the ice cream is something that she at first says no to. Evie wants her to leave the house and go and get ice cream, and she refuses, and then when they come back, Charlie has bought ice cream, and he asks if it's the right kind for her. And, you know, at first she says no, and first she says no thank you to ice cream, but then later she goes and makes herself some. There is a sort of, you know, she's as she's thinking about it, she does want to go down this path. And there's, there's some of the same there with Whip, I think his name was, with, you know, at first it seems like, you know, he's walking towards her and she's backing up. But is it, you know, yeah, others have already pointed out she is both predator and prey, the spider that crawls up her skirt. She is luring him away from what is safe, but he is also walking her towards what is not safe. And, yeah. And there's, of course, the, the belt, which is very... Yeah, the the thing about, excuse me, uh, you know, right at the very beginning, we're told she's wearing her father's belt. And over the course of the film, that changes meaning, and then at the end, you understand, oh, that's what that really means. You know, and the belt is used as Charlie takes over her father's belt, and... Uh, I think it was also his shirt or something like that. So he is stepping into the shoes of, and, and the shoes, of course, that were gifts are also quite important. He's stepping into her father's shoes. And at first she does not want that. But then later, and, and again, Auntie Jin sort of goes in and, you know, becomes sort of the antigen to Charlie. That was a terrible joke, and I apologize profusely. She is trying to, you know, what she says upsets Evie, and she's clearly talking about Charlie as something negative. Europe! Could we talk just the two of us? I mean, it's not about the, the inheritance, it's about could, could the two of us talk together tomorrow morning? No, I'll have a headache, you know. And India walks up and says, can't you stay with us? You made the night much better, the, the evening much better, because she, you know, and, and that's again, you know, is it because she bothers her mother, because she bothers Charlie, because of both, because of one of, one of them, is it in spite of one of the two? Yeah, very, very compelling. And the I suppose that brings us to the shoe, where you know the the father kept giving her the sporty shoes, and they were, you know, we we see that image where they're all around her, and clearly they're the same. They're just different sizes. So he was trying to keep her from realizing her womanhood, her sexuality, her bloodlust. And you have the sort of... And, and yeah, Charlie comes up with, with a box that is the same as the father's. And, and this is also just after she's been able to open the drawer with all the letters from uh, from Charlie to her, which, you know, at first seemed to be from all over the world, confirming that he was traveling and, you know, confirming that he wasn't actually trying to... He was always trying to be part of her life. But then we realize that he was living... Yeah. And the, but, but yes, so he, he gives her the more feminine shoes. And not only that, but he takes off her shoes and puts the, and, and the foot is very sensual. I mean, whether or not you, 
whether or not you're foot, foot fetishists, the, the foot is rather sensual, you know, and at this point I, I should say I would not give my mother a foot massage. And the, um, yeah, he's, he's putting the shoes on her and she is letting him, you might say. And, you know, the, the shower scene also very much shows her, you know, shows both that she is blossoming, that her sexuality really is coming to the forefront, and it shows the connection between sex and death for for her and yeah the and and yeah for for Charlie as well their connection is both sexual and sharing the bloodlust and yeah there's there's clues that brings us back to the belt a man taking off his belt is both violent and sexual, and there's, you know, the, the brings up the David Cronenberg quote, which I partially agree with, that all violence has a sexual aspect, and all sex has a violent aspect. And so, and it really, you know, you can't really get a belt off gently, you know, it is, you are pulling it out, and the belt itself is something that can cause pain, or it, you know, Removing it can also mean that, you know, yeah, that uh, that it's time for sex or the, the like. So that is very nicely done with, with that. And her having her father's belt on, excuse me, there at the very end, is indeed, she is, uh, yeah, she is, she's out of her shell, she has blossomed into a woman, a sexual, deadly, sniping woman. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.